Okay, so I just wanted to pop on and talk about um, your condition motivating operations. So you have a CMOT, transitive, you have a CMOS, surrogate, and a CMOR, reflexive, right? So with your um, CMOT that's transitive, and I also like to think of the letter T as tool. So if I get up to use the bathroom, I have an MO to go to the bathroom. But if I get to the bathroom and realize there's a, I need a key to get into the bathroom, that's another MO, which is going to be my CMOT, because I need the tool, the key to get into the bathroom. Okay, so when you need that tool, um, that is your transitive. For your CMOS, your surrogate, that's when the pairing process occurs. So that, let's say I am salivating over a slice of pizza, and then I salivate over a picture of a slice of pizza, that would be my CMO surrogate. So if I see a commercial and there's a Gatorade on the TV and I get motivated to go get a Gatorade, that is your surrogate, the pairing process where you get the same response. And then for your reflexive, what you it has to do with warning. Think of warning when you think of reflexive, right? So with the warning, Let's say there was a cop behind me. I'm going to try to avoid that cop by making the first turn I can make out of there, right? Or if I'm used to always getting, I'm paying my credit card bills late and I decided that I keep getting all these late fines and I'm really upset about it, the next credit card bill I get, I pay it right away to avoid getting that late fee again, okay? So you're avoiding that aversive or that, that something is warning you. That is your reflexive. 